I tried to pull the jib, it went wide open and ripped. I had the sheet in my hand, trying to feed it slowly. Nope, it just took off wide open. No pressure on the sheet, and it ripped. So, I am under mainsail only until I can get a new jib. Might be able to get it sewn, but no, I'm just gonna get it. So that's where I'm at. I'm only going about four, four and a half knots at best because I've only got the mainsail. Makes it between like three and a half and four and a half knots. Um, but it did great. down, grab my dinner at 10, and look what I come back to. The main is now ripped. So, hopefully it'll stay together long enough for me to get somewhere to... Alright, final update. I'll turn so you guys can see me. Sun is setting. This is where I'm at. There's the intercoastal waterway. I was hoping to get all the way down to here. Because this is where the intercoastal waterway actually is. Here, up here, this this spot right here. That's where I tried to put the sails up. Actually, I tried putting the sails up all through here. Finally succeeded up and around here. Well, and then I think up here where this gigantic divot is, that's where I stopped for lunch and ripped the main sail. In total, today, I went a total of 55.3 nautical miles, and I started at 7 o'clock this morning, so in 12 hours I went 55 miles, with just the main sail, and a little bit of uh, motoring. You know, just letting the motor idle and cool down. Had to motor about the last hour to get in because the wind just totally died down until the last probably 10 minutes. But uh, I'm on anchor. Uh, 17 feet. Well, it's probably actually about 22 feet deep. 
because I've got it offset for the keel. But uh, anchor seems to be holding. I had it down for a while, probably about half an hour. You'll see it like swing because that's uh, about how much chain I let out. Anchor should be up here somewhere. But it looks like it's holding. It's staying in one spot. So, as I think I am. If anything, it should be pushing me this way. So, you can see where the, the waves are headed, and the wind is coming out of that direction too. Let's walk up and uh, take a look at the anchor chain. Oh. Anchor chain looks good. That's way too high up for me to reach to try and do something with. I tried wrapping it up and it just did nothing. one button which means that when I go to pick it up I've got to go uh, when I go to pick it up I've got to go into the anchor locker under below and uh, in fact, let me run down there and show you real quick what I've got to deal with. in here this one is down that empty one is up so go ahead and... ah, looks like it's pulling out of the connector probably done by an idiot because they only put one button in I'll have to get a screwdriver to take that off and move it over. That's what I gotta do. This here's where the chain goes. Do the door in there because it was just banging around. Unfortunately it also looks like there is no there is a drain going where? Oh nice Wonderful. I love finding holes in my boat. <sighs> you couldn't just run a line to the build. She had to... And then look at this shoddy work. Oh look, another, another wasp nest. Great. Oh, and it didn't go high enough on the, the wall. Plus there's that, which is probably leaking through. It's probably where all of my water is coming in at. I swear. Some people. Simple job. A simple job. That can just get totally screwed up. 
All right, I'm gonna try and post this, get some dinner. We'll see you in the morning.